how are you? Man, I'm excited for tonight. Listen, I'm excited as well. Yes. I'm looking forward to Wednesday night worship. Absolutely. Listen, guys, we want you to like, share, comment, type in new if you're new to the broadcast. Listen, we want to know that you're a you're a part of Wednesday night worship here with us at Family Worship Center. Yes, and feel free to share this with your family and friends that you think would be encouraged by a night of powerful word, of, of prayer, of worship. Um, yes. You know, that's a special thing we get to do is to share with other people that which has changed our life so right. dramatically. Absolutely. So we just want to jump right in. Listen, get engaged with us. We want to talk about ways to give. There are four, actually five ways to give here at Family Worship Center. Listen, tell us about them. Let's yes, so we have Cash App. You can give um, each campus or each location of Family Worship Center specifically has their own cash tag. You can find those in the comments yes. as we talk about giving or on our website, but Cash App is a great way to give. We also have text to give. So you can go ahead and text the number right below us um, and that's easy to set up as well. You can mail or deliver it. Mail or deliver, yep. yep. 3215 South Cashua here in Florence. Or we have um, online giving, fwcchurches.com. Yep. And our new favorite, yeah, we, we have, have a drop, drop box. box. Yeah, we have a drop box. Actually, and there's a kiosk here. Yes, so in the lobby. So there's six ways to give here at Family Worship Center. Listen, you don't want to miss being a part of giving here at Family Worship Center. It's a wonderful way to, you know, just show God and other people, you know, that, you know, you're, you're invested. You right, know, Where right. your money is, your treasure is, your heart will be also. Absolutely. Listen, let's talk about Summer Surge. Summer Surge is July 28th. June 28th. I'm sorry, June 28th <laughs> through July 1st. Yes. Listen, it's a summer camp for the kids. It's a great way to be a part. Listen, I, this will be my first summer surge. Oh, you're going to love it. To it. <laughs> Listen, but summer camp is always a wonderful thing. Yes, it's a powerful week. Um, we call it the best week of the year. Our yeah. teens that have gone know that this is true. Um, and we are so excited to get to host this year. It's going to be at North Myrtle, Be North Myrtle Beach <laughs> Christian right. Retreat. I can speak, I promise. Um, <laughs> and we are so excited. It's going to be um, four and a half. I think it's four days. Um, it's, it's all right at four days. Yes, right powerful, days, yeah. powerful services yeah. in the morning and evenings. Yeah. Man, you and your teens do not want to miss this event. Right. The cost for the event is $325 right. per team. But listen, we're doing a lot of fundraisers. Yes, Pay we attention are. to your bulletin. Pay attention to our announcements so you can be a part of that. Yes. So it'll help you pay for your kid to go the summer surge. Absolutely. We have plenty of teens yeah. already fully funded yes. for Summer Surge because they started, did a couple fundraisers and were faithful. It works. Do yes. it, do it, do it. Yes, do that. Uh, water baptisms. Yes. Yeah, explain. This Talk is such it. an honor to be able to watch people make a public declaration that they are born again, that they are living their life for God. So we haven't done one of these services in a while. Listen, it's going to be great. Um, it's, yes. It's on our front. We, we have a front lawn, a, a cement area in the front of the church. Listen, <laughs> we're going to bring the pool out. Yes, There's going to be a full band out there. We're going to sing. We're going to get baptized. Listen, it's, it's wonderful. You, you just want to be a part it's of it. It's a great celebration. Okay. Yeah, great celebration. Listen, let's talk about Celebration Online. Celebration Online is my favorite part of the ministry here at Family Worship Center. I have an opportunity to help film it, things of that nature. Yes. Miss Amy does a wonderful job she with does. the kids. Oh, my goodness. Listen, take a moment, look at this clip of Celebration Online, then turn up. We're going to have church. Watch Celebration Online. Yes, that's right. Hello, kids. It's Zane's a Zany Zookeeper, and I'm here with my friends. Say hey. Hey. Hey, and, and we're here at the zoo. And do, but I want you to join us this Sunday at Celebration. And we're going to have lots of fun. I'm going to tell you about how, how, how I save the animals in the zoo. It's going to be amazing, right? Yep. Yeah. Are you yep. going to be there? Yep. Yeah, be a celebration yeah. this Sunday, okay? Sunday. We'll see you there. Say bye. Bye. Good evening, Family Worship Center. Stand up on your feet wherever you are. We're going to worship the name above all names. Come on, let's sing this out. We love 
love to call your name. Call your name. There's something here. Something we cannot explain. That happens when we proclaim. When we proclaim your great name. Something is yeah. we cannot explain that when we proclaim, when we proclaim yeah. your great, great, great name, name. come on, sing it out, say it. No other name, no other hey, name. King Jesus, King Jesus strong. strong, we can't call on Power in the name of Jesus. Power in your name. We're so glad that there is power in the name of Jesus. So much power in your name. Come on, sing it out. Say, power in the name of so Jesus. much power in your name. See, there is power. Wonder working power. Jesus. There is power. power Come on, say to so things change. Things change when we call you Jesus. So things change. Things change when we call Come on, call His name. Shift the atmosphere. Say so things change when we call you yeah.
Lord, just praise the name, worship the name above every name. We find what we need in your presence. Everything we need is found in the name. I love the name, Jesus, for it is the sweetest name. Sweetest name. Oh, yes. Oh, how I love the name, Jesus. Oh, how I love the name, Jesus. Say, it is the sweetest name. I know. Oh, how I love the name, Jesus. Oh, how I love the name. Oh, how I love the name, Jesus. It is the sweetest name. Something about the name Jesus. Something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name. It is the sweetest name. mighty God. Come on. Give him a shout. Give him some praise. You online out there, come on in your living room, in your car. Oh, we serve a mighty God. A mighty God. The name that is above all names. The name where every knee shall bow and every tongue confess. Come on, church. I can't hear you tonight. Oh, he is worthy. One more time. Sweetest name I know. Hallelujah. It is the name. It is the name. The name 
of Jesus, Father God. Oh, we worship you. We glorify. We magnify. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Come on, church. One more hallelujah before you see it. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. You may be seated. My name is Brother Richard. Pastor Steve will be up in a moment. It's a night of hour of power prayer meeting. Nothing like prayer, corporate prayer together. Hallelujah. But we want to give you an opportunity to give as we continue our worship in giving. Hallelujah. Malachi 3.10 says, Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and try me in this, says the Lord of hosts. Type that in the comments. Y'all in the congregation say that. The Lord says, try me in this, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such a blessing that there will not be room enough to receive him. We like to say this, that it's plural. My accounts are full. Amen. Say that with me. Type that in the comments. My accounts are full. Amen. He wants us to be able to give unto every good work, everything that we see out there, that it is good because God is good all the time. God wants us to be able to give in, not lacking, but be cheerful givers. Amen. There are several ways here at the church to give. They should be below me and behind me on the screen. There's text to give. The Cash App, if you use that again, make sure to put in all your contact information so we know who you are. You can bring it, mail it to FWC uh, here in Florence or the, your, your churches, Columbia, Georgetown, and Sumter online. Uh, and then there's fwcchurches.com. If you're in the house, ushers will be up in a moment. Uh, put your envelope in the bucket. Amen. There's kiosks out front. Don't forget about the main parking lot. Uh, there's a box out there, safe and secure as well. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for each and every one, Father God. I thank you that you bless this offering. Bless their seed sown, Father God. Multiplied in Jesus' name. And everyone says, Amen and Amen. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good. 
How many of you know he's good tonight? How many of you know? You are good all the time. All the time. All the time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, I love coming tonight. I'm a, one of, the favorite thing I love to do is to pray. I really enjoy it. Monday morning, we're doing prayer, and it's been great. We're getting ready to add more prayer before the end of our season. You may be seated. And, uh, you know, just I know how effective prayer is. I know how God keeps yes. us in the midst of all of the challenges when things come. How I many you know stuff comes? That's right. Come on, stuff comes. We get attacked by things. Things happen. Stuff comes. But the best part of that is, is though we are, uh, we are uh, hit by stuff, he delivers us from the stuff. That's the blessing of it all is to know that God is our deliverer. Somebody in this room ought to shout out, God is my deliverer. Come on, just say that I trust in the Lord. Amen. I trust him. I trust him to watch over us. I trust him to protect. I trust him to keep us. I trust him to, to, uh, to, to guard us and all those things. And he's never let me down. Never let me down. I mean, no. And he never will. Come on, somebody. He never will. One more time. He never will. Come on. I just think everybody in this room ought to say he never will. Hallelujah. You know, I think there's probably somebody in this room that might have a great word for us or tell us something that God's done for you. He may have delivered you. Just one or two testimonies. If you have something you could share, we'd love to hear it. Amen. Has anybody got a great word from the Lord? Even if it's just something to encourage us. He said, come with a psalm, a hymn, a spiritual song. He told us to sing and make melody in our heart. If you have an encouraging word, then encourage us tonight. Amen. Don't wait. Nobody's allowed to hesitate because if you hesitate, I'm just going to start preaching. All right? I'm going to count down. Five, four, three. Somebody better jump up. Two. Nobody has got an encouraging word. One. Ah, I knew somebody had one. Come on down. Preach a minute. Amen. (laughs) Give us a word from the Lord. I was just thinking uh, the church is always looking forward. We're looking forward to the rapture. We're looking forward to the return of the Lord and the great days with the Lord. But also you can look in the past and get a shout also. Amen. And seeing where the Lord has been in your life. Yes. Uh, most of you probably don't know, but I had COVID, COVID and uh, was sent to the hospital for three days on a weekend with pneumonia. So I was out of work about two or three weeks. And, uh, and, and during those times I wasn't working, but my company still paid my salary, amen, and blessed me. And it also reminded me uh, years ago, about 15 years ago, my first wife died with cancer. And uh, <clears throat> I, I lost my job. I got in an accident, and they fired me for safety reasons. And, but <clears throat> we also got in a wreck. A drunk hit the rear end of us, and my lawyer was able to give us, uh, help us with a, a fine settlement. And what I realized as I look back, God was preparing me to be the caregiver of my wife while she was dying with cancer. Amen. We had no need of nothing, but we had our bills paid. We had food. And, and God just worked things out. And, and, and so, uh, you know, you can look at the financial blessings and see God's hand in our lives. And I'm so thankful for what the Lord has done. Uh, every time I look back, uh, even when you go through a storm, you look back, you can see the hand of God in your life. Amen. Amen. Lift your hands up and give him praise. Glory. 
Come on, if God be for us. I want everybody here to say that God's for me. Come on, say it again. God is for me. Is there another? One more. One more. One more quick testament. It's got to be a good one now. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Five, four. <laughs> Come on. Y'all wait so long. It's like you got to think it through. Just get up and let the Lord use you. There we go. Come on, tell us what God's doing. Amen. Amen. Technically, I'm supposed to be in the bag with the comment, so I'll hurry up. Um, a couple months ago in January, I found out that the job I've been working at for almost seven years was shutting down. So, and it officially shut down in like in the middle of the Mar of March. But a little bit before we found out it was happening, I felt like God was reminding me that he was the source and the job was just the vessel. So when the news actually came, I wasn't like shaken or stirred by it. <laughs> I've had little moments where I vacillated about what was going to happen, but God has just proven to be a great provider and my father, and I haven't felt any of the ramifications of not being unemployed right now. Like money started coming in, I ended up getting a new car during this period, so God has just been good and faithful and a provider. Thank you. Come on, God is good. God All is good. Time. One more time, lift your hands and give him praise. Hallelujah. John 15 and 7 says this, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you'll ask what you will and it'll be done. How many of you are glad that we have the word of God continuing inside of us? When we live in him and he's in us, we know that what we ask will be done of our Father which is in heaven. God takes care of us. And I know that I've planted the word in me. How about you? Have you planted the word in you? That you've got the word of God inside of you? If his words abide in you and you abide in him, Whatever you ask shall be done. That means when we pray according to his will, we know he heard us. I want you to say that. Uh, when I pray according to his will, I know he heard me. I want you to say that again. When I pray according to his will, I know he heard me. Then I want you to say this. And if I know he heard me, say it this way. And since I know he heard me. Because when I pray according to his will, I know that he hears, he hears me. He said, and since I know that he hears me, then I know. Say, I know, I know that I have the petitions I've desired of the Lord. When I pray according to his will, see, if his word abides in me and I abide in him, whatever I ask will be given to me. You know, it's interesting because when we think of prayer, we have to acknowledge that God is the one who does the work. We are the ones who do the praying. There's this two-sided, you know, everything we do has two sides often to what we do. There's the our side and the God side. And God has already done what he's going to do. He's provided what he's going to provide. It's there. It's available. The riches of God. All the things that we need of the Lord are provided for us. Ephesians chapter 1 tells us he's provided those things for us. They're already done. And it's for us to reach out and grab them by faith and bring them into our lives. And so we ought to have big faith. I want you to look at somebody and say, we ought to have big faith. Faith can come in different levels. You know, you can have big faith. You can, the Bible shows us people had small faith, little faith. Some had no faith. So there's levels of faith. And we ought to continue to increase faith in our life. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing comes by the word of God. I want to cram this all in so you catch this. So according to this scripture, if we abide in him and he abides in us, we'll ask what we will and be given to us. If we pray according to his will, we know he hears us. If we know he hears us, then we know we have what we've desired of the Lord. So when I have the word of God in me and I pray out his word and according to his word, then it stimulates that activity in my life. It brings God to bear in me. Isn't that true? And so tonight when we pray, we're believing for God to do what he said in his word. How many believe he'll do exactly what he said? He said he'd prosper us, bless us, heal us, deliver us. He'd save us, and he would do all those things. Now listen to this. Mark 4, 26 and tw through 29 says this. He said to them, so is the kingdom of God as if a man would cast seed in the ground. I just had that come up in my spirit today. I just had this sense that I wanted to put inside of us a seed planting idea. That we understand whatever a man sows is what he's going to reap. Whatever a man sows is what he's going to reap. That's what we're doing tonight when we pray. We're sowing. We're planting. We're going to add thanksgiving to it as an affirmation of what we're praying about. He says, so we cast seed into the ground. In other words, everything is like this. It's a, it's, it is, a, it is a, a diagram of faith to the believer. It's a diagram of how, this, how faith works for us. He's talking about farmers and how they plant. 
He says, and they should sleep and rise day and night, and the seed should bring forth fruit of herself. Say that with me. The seed produces fruit of herself. And it says, it produces fruit of itself. It springs up. It grows. And he don't know how. You know, many of us, we want to know how it works. We want the understanding. We want to put our finger in the midst of the plant. And figure out how it's going to make that happen. I tell you now, if you plant a corn, uh, a seed of corn in the ground, it will begin to sprout. It will come up out of the ground. Leaves will come up on it. It will continue to grow. It will bring husks of corn. And then they will ripen. And you'll pull them off, put them in your pot, and you'll eat the fruit. You didn't do anything except plant the seed. No, you didn't get what I'm saying. You didn't do anything. The ground did it. The, the, the seed was planted, and the Bible says if a seed dies in the ground, and then it produces a harvest. And so he says here, and that it should sleep and rise day and night, and, should, uh, and the seed should spring up and grow. He knows not how. For the earth after that uh, bringeth forth fruit of herself, first the blade, then the ear, and after that the full corn of the ear. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he put forth the sickle and brings forth the harvest, or harvest is come. We're, we can't be moved by our sight. Many of us are just simply tonight, we're going to pray. Don't be moved by what you see. I'm not moved by what I see. I'm moved by the Word of God. Say that out loud. I'm moved by the Word of God. When I pray, I believe the Bible. Say that out loud. I believe the Bible. I believe the Bible. And so my sowing in the kingdom of God makes an impact into my harvest. I don't have to I don't go to bed every night trying to figure it out. I don't have to be in fret and fear. I don't have to be intimidated. I don't have to be, I don't have to go through, you know, uh, all those different things. I can just sleep day and night and the work is getting done and I trust God to get it done. How many trust God to get it done? Just say, I trust God to get it done. You go to bed, you get up and you praise God for it. So that's why we give Thanksgiving. It's the affirmation. It is the seed of guarantee. See, everything has a seed. Whatever a man sows, that shall he reap. Tonight when we pray, we're sowing into the kingdom. We're sowing our harvest. We're praying out our harvest. We're believing for harvest. Believing for overcoming. Something is happening and we don't see it. Don't get caught up in whether you see it or not. Believers should just believe it. Amen? When you pray, believe it. If you pray and you believe it, you'll receive it. Say, if I pray and I believe it, I'll receive it. Come on, if I pray... And I believe it, I'll receive it. You know, I just pray right along, just trusting in the Lord. I don't try to make it happen. I let God in the ground make it happen. Amen? And if you just watch in your life how God does his work, you're going to see it just comes to pass. God does the work. Don't think it's Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or last week or whatever. Get your faith in God. Trust the Lord. Keep believing. Keep standing. Keep thanking God. Keep praying according to his will. Don't get discouraged. Don't get depressed. Stay on top. Stay on God's side. I've said this a million times in the last three or four weeks. Stay on God's side. Come on, somebody. Stay on God's side. Come on, say it with me. Stay on God's side. He's for you. Amen. I want you to shout that out. God's for me. Come on, like you really mean it, like you really believe it. God is for me. Don't try to figure it out. Plant the seed. Keep planting. Keep believing. You don't have to be a genius to have understanding. Just go to bed and get up in faith. Amen. Tonight when we pray, we're going to get done praying, thanking God for our prayers, believing God for our overcoming response. Here's what I want you to do now. I want you to pray for you. There are needs in your life. There are things going on with you. There are income strategies. There are raises in pay. You know, I, I brought a girl up uh, several weeks ago, and she had talked to me. She said, I think I'm going to quit my job. I found this out today. I thought it was really great. I and I was just up here, she said, I think I'm going to quit my job. There's a situation at the job, and maybe somebody at the job was not performing correctly with her. A new manager or boss had come in that wasn't panning out, and it wasn't good, and, and they were focusing negatively on this lady. And she said, I think I'm going to quit and look for a new job. Will you pray with me? I said, well, how about this? What if God would change the person? You know, God can change their heart or change them. How I many you know if God puts you there and you're supposed to be there, God can arrange for somebody else not to be how many believe that? How many God can move people just in your case? 
God can rearrange the, the, the structure of where you're at. He can put you in a different room. You understand what I'm saying? God knows what you're praying about. That's why I said, cast your cares on me. I care about you. And, we, and today, we got the phone calls. He was talking to my wife and telling my wife that he said, you know, Pastor Steve was just right in what he said to me. We prayed the right way. We prayed according to the word of God. And you know what happened? The manager that they had put there that was frustrating everybody and was not doing right, and it was bad. I mean, I think some of it was, you know, along the lines of, you know, different things like racism and stuff like that. Listen, God removed her from the job. Peace came, and now it's a blessing to the lady's life. She didn't even have to quit her job. How many know God will do that for you? Don't you think that they've got you bound there? God is your source. Come on, God, look at me. God is your source. God is your source. He'll transform your life, renew your health. He'll take care of you. You just know. I mean, if God tells you to move, then that's what you need to do. But if he didn't, why don't you put your trust in him to transform the environment? I mean, if God has to give you the pay raise and give you the new management position, he's able to do it. How many know God's big enough? Come on, he's big enough. I want you to shout that. My God's big enough. He can change it. Amen. So I want you to pray around your situation. If it's finances or health, if it's family, if it's children. I mean, wherever you're needing and wherever you sense that that's where you should pray, I think that's where we should pray. And then when we thank God, we're praising him for the answer. Praising Him for the victory. Praising Him for the outcome. See, I'm sowing my seed tonight. I'm sowing seeds of victory with my prayer tonight. Somebody ought to say amen. I don't have to worry about when I sow the seed, I go to bed at night and wake up in the morning. I go to bed at night and wake up in the morning. Something's happening in the ground. Something's going on. I don't have to see everything. I can just stand there and watch. And just like he said, he said we could look back and see how God arranged all that so that everything would work out just right. How many know it's going to work out just right? Glory to God. Come on, stand up on your feet. Father, we come to you tonight, and we praise you. We thank you. We're praying personally. There are things that we need to pick up personally, stuff we need to handle personally. And as we go that direction, we know when we pray according to your will, you hear us. And we know if you hear us, then we know we have the desires that we prayed about. Now, right now, Zobre Kepepepanun Stoponanea, Lobre Perebotolo, Sotolo Bonemane. Go ahead, come on, pray it out. Just pick it up. Hallelujah. Isha Tarabasa, La Saman, the Rose, Tere, Isha Tarabasa, Asama Mamas, Hundrobasa, Usha Sotoroba, Usha Tarana Nanamasa, Mandro Babasa, Bandro Nana Masit Retera, Asamandro Mando, Boso Tarobaso, Isha Tarobasi, Lisa Tarana Namasa, Asa Babasa, Masa Sororabaso, Boso. Romando, Mush is a center in the Renner, Isarabasa, Hasaman, the Rend Roman, Bush is a sotor robasso, Bosch is a center in the Renner, Lisa Terrarabasa, Ha 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 Mando rora rara basu turro basa basa tere ne 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 lis turro rara rara basa bosho mando rondo non nun turro masi tere antena na na ma asa ba 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 ha oh Father God we thank you that the joy of the Lord is our strength Father God oh you made us mighty mighty in power mighty in splendor Father God oh Jesus 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 
Hallelujah. We thank you for Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you for your spirit, Father God, living and residing in us. Oh, I thank you, Lord, that we're seeing how you're working on our behalf. We're seeing how you're delivering. We're seeing, Lord, that when we pray, we know we receive answers. We know. Because you said, according to your word, when we pray according to your will, we know you hear us. Thank God. Thank you, Lord, that we know your word comes back to you. You turn it all around. You make what wasn't working work out. It works for my good. It works for my good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. You take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it yeah. for good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You turn hallelujah. it for good. Hallelujah. You take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good. You turn it for good. Yeah. You take what the enemy meant for evil, oh, and you turn, turn it for good. good. You turn it for, for good. good. Now here's what I want us to do right here. I want us to begin to thank God for what He has done in our prayer. Come on, lift up your voice. When we sing this song, we believe it's all turned in our favor. It's working out. Because God said it was. Come on. Oh, you take. You take what the enemy meant for evil. You turn it. And you turn it for, for good. good. Hallelujah. You turn it for good. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. You take what the enemy meant for evil. Turn and you turn it for good. good. You turn it for good. Yeah. Hallelujah. What the enemy meant for evil, and you turn it for good. You turn it for good. Yeah. You take what the enemy meant for evil, and you turn it for good. You turn it for good. Oh. You take what the enemy meant for evil. And you turn it for good. You turn it for good. Come 
on church, give him a shout. Oh, we're thankful, we're thankful, we're grateful. Oh, a mighty God, a mighty God. Oh, able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can think or ask. Oh, you're a good, good father. You're a good, good daddy. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Say it with me. God is good. And all the time, he is good. All the time. All the time. Hallelujah. Maybe seated one more time. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, we want to thank you for joining us online. Georgetown, Columbia, Florence, and Sumter, and around the world. God is moving. God is changing. Oh, He's doing something. He's doing something. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory and all the praise, Lord. Again, Luke 6, 638 says, To give and it shall be given, press good measure, press down, shaken together, and running over shall men give back to you. Amen. For with the same measure that you meet or that you give, it shall be measured back to you. Several ways to give again here at Family Worship Center. There's text to give. There's the cash app. And again, if you use that, fill out all the information so we know who you are for giving letter purposes at the end of the year. You can bring it, mail it in to FW Church office, or you can give online at fwcchurches.com. If you're in the service tonight, there'll be ushers in the back. Uh, at the doors and all. You can drop your envelope in there. Again, there's giving kiosks, drop box out in the main parking lot. Hallelujah. God is good. Heavenly Father, we thank you for each and every one of them. We thank you that you bless their seed sown, Father God. Bless them. Keep them. Watch over them in Jesus' name. And everyone says amen and amen. Go bless to the Lord. Hallelujah.